Ingrown toenail. When a toenail grows in an unusual pattern or direction, the edges or corners of it grow into the skin next to the nail. This is referred to as an ingrown nail. Pressure from the ingrowth of the nail edge breaks through the skin causing pain, swelling, redness and much discomfort. It commonly affects the big toe, can occur on one or both sides of the toenail, and can affect one or both feet. It is especially dangerous if you have diabetes or another chronic condition that negatively impacts your circulation. Causes The most common cause of ingrown toenails is cutting your nails too short or rounding the edge of the nail. Wearing tight footwear creates pressure on the sides of the toes that can push the nail into the surrounding skin. Ingrown toenails may be more common in people with sweaty feet, such as teenagers. Activities in which you repeatedly kick an object or put pressure on your feet for long periods of time can cause toenail damage and increase your risk of ingrown toenails, such as ballet. Pulling or picking at the nails L instead of cutting them in a straight line with a tool. This can leave a spicule at the edge of the nail. Often this spicule is deep down the side of the nail where it is not visible or felt until it starts growing and pierces the skin. The shape of the nail can also play a role, especially where the nail is particularly involuted or curved, such as the condition known as pincer nails. Toe deformity such as hallux valgus, a condition where the big toe deviates toward the small toes. The resultant pressure on the toenail could eventually cause the nail edge to grow into the skin. Nail disorder such as fungal nail infection can lead to abnormal changes in the nail shape resulting in ingrown toenail. Symptoms In stage 1, inflammatory stage, the patient has mild redness, erythema, swelling, pain and tenderness along the lateral nail fold. Stage 2, Abscess Stage. The erythema, edema and tenderness increase. The nail fold bulges over the nail plate edge, and drainage begins. At first, the drainage is a thin, sticky, serous secretion. Because of the abundance of microorganisms normally present on the skin, infection rapidly follows, and the drainage becomes purulent. In Stage 3, Granulation Stage, Granulation tissue covers the lateral nail fold and inhibits free drainage. Precludes any chance of elevating the nail edge from the dermis of the lateral nail fold. This stage can progress into a chronic, relatively asymptomatic condition during several weeks. Usually followed by recurrent, acute inflammatory episodes. Diagnosis Be careful! Some conditions such as tumors, foreign bodies, and fungal infection may appear to be an ingrown toenail to the untrained eye. If you are unsure, seek professional medical help through your doctor. He can diagnose an ingrown toenail based on your symptoms and a physical examination of your nail and the surrounding skin. Preventing ingrown toenails Wear shoes that provide enough room at the toes, and wear socks that allow your toes to move freely. Be sure to cutting toenails properly. Cut your toenail straight across, not curved. Make sure you do not cut them too short. You can also leave your toenail a little longer at the corners to help it grow over the skin. Do not use a sharp object like manicure scissors to dig under your nail, because the toe might get infected. Avoid trauma to the toe area. If you participate in other sports where your toes get a lot of action, try to go barefoot for an hour or two afterward. If you work in a place where your toe might get hurt, wear sturdy shoes such as steel-toed boots to protect your toes. Avoid sweat or dampness and keep your feet dry. 
If you are diabetic patient or have a compromised immune system or poor circulation, you should promptly seek the care of a physician for ingrown toenail treatment even if the symptoms appear mild. Treatment Treatment of ingrown toenails depends on the severity of symptoms and presence of infection. In stage 1, the treatment involves taking pain relievers which may help ease the toe pain. Soak your feet in warm water for 15 to 20 minutes 3 to 4 times a day. Soaking reduces swelling and relieves tenderness. Wearing open-toed shoes or sandals until your toe feels better. Lifting the lateral edge of the nail plate by putting bits of cotton under the ingrown edge. This procedure is frequently painful, so do it after soaking your foot in warm water, which makes the nail softer and more pliable. Repeat this treatment daily until the nail grows out and can then be trimmed properly. Make sure you trim it in a straight line and at right angles to the distal edge of the nail plate. This treatment usually is successful in 2 to 3 weeks. Another conservative treatment option is nail splinting, which separates the nail plate from the soft tissue to provide a channel in which the nail can grow. A gutter splint that is affixed to the ingrown nail edge can be fashioned from a sterilized vinyl intravenous drip infusion tube slit from top to bottom. Direct force can be applied to lift the nail from the nail fold and release the pressure exerted on the inflamed soft tissue. By using devices consist of two hooks placed on the sides of the nail and connected under tension by wire. Your doctor may also recommend using topical or oral antibiotics. Especially if the toe is infected or at risk of becoming infected. Stage 2. It is possible to treat this stage non-operatively by removing all pressure from the toe, including that from hosiery and soaking the foot 10 to 15 minutes in warm water 4 or 5 times a day. The drainage is cultured, and sensitivities are determined, and a broad-spectrum antibiotic is begun. Put antibiotic ointment on the tender area and bandage the toe. When the swelling recedes, tenderness should decrease, and the use of treatments described in stage 1 can be started. This must not be used if the drainage has not stopped and inflammation has not significantly decreased. Non-surgical management of late stage 2 lesions is time-consuming for the patient and the physician, and patient compliance is unpredictable. And recurrence also is likely after non-surgical treatment when the lesion has progressed this far. In case of recurrence, in stage 3 and in many patients in stage 2, surgical management is preferred. The surgical treatment choices are many and they are performed under local anesthesia at doctor clinic, but we are going to describe only the most commonly used. The most common procedure to treat infected ingrown toenails is partial avulsion of the lateral edge of the nail followed by chemical matricectomy using phenol. The other procedure is excision of a wedge of the outer edge of the nail and the overlapping tissue and nail matrix removal surgically by dissection and curatage, Winograd method. The doctor may suggest total nail plate and germinal matrix removal for middle-aged or elderly patients with multiple occurrences of nail problems and deformities. And for younger patients, usually male, with less concern for cosmesis who have had multiple operations for ingrown toenail. Post-surgery recovery. Soak your toe with the bandage on 2-3 to three times a day in warm water with betadine starting the day after surgery. After soaking, apply antibiotic ointment to the wound and replace the bandage. Remove the bandage on the third day. Shoes should be avoided at the beginning but if you have to wear them, then sandals or open toe shoes are best to avoid pressure to the toe while healing. You can likely resume your normal activities within a week. You should refrain from running or vigorous exercise for two weeks after the surgery.
What is the appearance of the nail after surgery? If a permanent resection of the nail was performed, matrixectomy, the nail will appear narrower by a few millimeters on the affected nail border. Unless a large portion of the nail was removed during the procedure, the overall appearance of the nail does not change significantly.